So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. You six plus me is seven. Uh, wait, don't tell me I don't count. No, uh, um... Here, take it. In the Master's playful and mischievous way, he gave his apprentice Lushu a very important role. What seemed like a simple task was the element that would connect all of the events to come. Long, long ago, all the worlds were still one. One day, this would be called the Age of Fairy Tales. It all began here, in Daybreak Town. The Master of Masters had an eye that gazes into the future. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies in which was written the events to come. So, did you look through the book? Yes. But I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Master, is what it says in the last passage true? Oh yeah, that. Bummer, huh? Yes. By the way, if one day I suddenly disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm, okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? Fade? I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. This world is full of light. It's a world comprised of many smaller worlds, all connected, stretching as far as the eye can see. One great light protects us all throughout this vast land. All worlds share one light, one fate. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts? Yep, you're right on the money. People believe that the light that is Kingdom Hearts will be here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. And that is why you granted us these Keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that faded land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. What? You really think you can change the future? Then, what do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are gonna happen. But... What about all of those who are here now? And the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes? Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? We have to at least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could- Well, if you want to give it a shot. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, good luck. So the reliable Era, who wore the mask of the unicorn, was given his role to take over for the master and to lead the others. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the snake, was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. The fearless Ased, who wore the mask of the bear, 
was given his role to support their brand new leader, Ira. The prudent Ava, who wore the mask of the fox, was given her role to prepare exceptional Keyblade wielders for the world after. The cool-headed Gula, who wore the mask of the leopard, was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Lushu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. Not long after that, the master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace. This is where your story began. The story of your very own adventure. Five of the Master's apprentices armed themselves with the Book of Prophecies. They each created a union. This would fulfill his wishes. Then, they set out to rally Keyblade wielders just like you. By defeating Heartless, the Monsters of Darkness, they would gather light. When will it stop? I don't want us to turn against each other. Master Alva! <gasps> oh, hello! Your name is Ephemer, right? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, can I join you? Uh-huh. Why the long face? Did something happen? Hmm. Long day. Do you remember what you asked me before? About why the unions compete against each other instead of working together? Actually, I always wondered the same thing. Huh? Isn't it just because the Master said so? Yes. And as such, we must obey. The Master said so. So it is. But lately, I've really started to wonder. You once told me that you were looking for answers. That you wanted to solve the mysteries of this world. Well, I think that's how things should be. We need to question things and think for ourselves. Whoa! You are really not yourself today. I guess even foretellers have their off days. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Aww. Hm. You were trying to pull a fast one on me, weren't you? Oh. No, no, I was joking. If you say so. But, to be honest, I think it would be great if all the unions could work together and be friends. You know, I made a friend from another union today. I wasn't much of a talker, maybe just shy. We're meeting again tomorrow. That sounds like so much fun. Then, you'd better go home and get some sleep. Okay. Well, it was nice talking to you. I don't know what's got you down, but please cheer up. Thank you. If the worst happens, I'll be glad to leave the future to the kids who see the world in the way that you do. Let the wind carry you far, far away, my dandelions. It's been over a year since the Master left. It's time for me to fulfill my true role.
Why do you get in my way? Don't be so conceited. I'm protecting the balance. Just like the Master told us to. You need to come to your senses! <laughs> If we don't do something, light will expire. Then we won't be able to avoid the grim future that awaits. We need to defy the Master's teachings to protect the world. You're saying he was wrong? He's not here anymore. I won't let his prophecy come true. I won't let the world fall into darkness. You fool! I found out who the traitor is. Regrettably. No, that's not true! Uh, Abba, there's no time to lose! be my guiding key. wanted me to give you up. I knew it. It's finally come to this. Come to what? Everyone wants to know about the lost page. The lost page? Yeah. It's a page the Master gave me. It doesn't exist in any of our books. It contains a passage about an inevitable betrayal. It talks about... The one who bears the sigil. That's it. So... I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. My role... is to find out who it is. I suspected a said and went to confront him. <laughs> and look what happened. Why are you telling me this, Gula? I have enough to think about keeping with the Master's teachings and my role. Always walking the straight and narrow. I'm a fool for basing my actions on what is written on that lost page. Everything in the passage is ambiguous at best. That's why. I need to find out. But how? By asking the Master. But he's not here anymore. I'm going to summon Kingdom Hearts. What? Then he'll have no choice but to come back. Summoning Kingdom Hearts is forbidden! That's exactly why! The only way to get him back is to break the rules. If things don't change, the entire world is doomed. But, in order to go through with it, I'll need Lux. I don't have nearly enough. You always do the right thing. Help me with this. I'm sorry. I know you want the Master to return. But you don't know how summoning Kingdom Hearts will affect the rest of the world. The Master... He forbid it for a reason. I'm afraid I can't help you. I see. May your heart be your guiding key.
school is on a mission to collect Lux. Ah. That explains why Ased and Ira are as well. They're trying to maintain the balance. But... That isn't the balance we were expected to keep. If everyone's collecting light... Solely for themselves... Keyblade wielders will soon turn against one another. Which will lead to... The Keyblade War. And what's written in the book... All of it will happen. Light will expire. Envy, what are you going to do? I'll gather Lux, too. No matter what, the balance must be kept. Ava, you do the same. We must delay the inevitable. Right. What's written in the last page of the book is going to happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master, isn't there anything we can do? Well, that's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Master, what is it that you need me to do? Oh. Don't get involved in any battles. Forget the notion of unions. Find Keyblade wielders with potential and create an entirely separate organization. Then, like the seeds of a dandelion, let them fly to another world. They will keep the light alive. You really think that I'm the right person for this? Ava, you're the only person for this. I understand. Today you're here to continue with your training for our mission. This session may seem like it's familiar to you, but in a world that is different, one made of dreams, You are our hope. A war will soon wage. Those who strive to protect the light will turn their weapons on their allies for the sake of loyalty to their own unions. To be honest, I don't know how far I can guide all of you. But you must remember is that anyone can lose themselves to the darkness. However, there will be no winners. Everything will be lost. Except all of you who are the seeds of hope. When the time comes and there is war, you mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside. This training is to help you fulfill this crucial task. The future is in all your hands, as is the world's light. May your hearts be your guiding key.
the gazing eye? Uh, it's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Hmm. Actually, no name. No name. Well, gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? N no Yeah, sure. Anyway, about your role. You need to pass down that Keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies... Bingo! The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome Keyblade, and fulfilled your role! Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on, you did a fantastic job! At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. Good point. Guess you'd better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No book of prophecies to keep you company either. I can't have you causing any temporal paradoxes. But hey, we both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that Keyblade, and... This box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you can never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right, I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. But why? You'll see. May my heart be my guiding key.